This video will cover the disassembly of the Texas Instruments Robotic Systems Learning Kit and show you how to separate the TIRSLK Max into its individual components with the primary purpose of removing the chassis board for modifications or additions. To follow along with this video, you'll need a Phillips head screwdriver to perform the disassembly. The first step is to remove the batteries and the 8-channel QTRX sensor array from the underside of the board. The battery compartment will need to be removed to access the batteries, and the sensor board will simply slide out and away from the robot chassis. Next, flip the robot over and remove the MSP432P401R launch pad mounted to the top of the robot. With a moderate amount of force, pull the launch pad board carefully and evenly so that the header pins of the chassis board don't get bent in the process. You might need to use a slight rocking motion to keep the force even and controlled. Now it's time to remove the motors with the wheels still attached. Pull the retaining tabs apart just enough so that the plastic motor casing is free to slide out. Repeat this for the other side. From the front of the robot, remove each bumper switchboard by first unscrewing the two bolts with nuts holding it in place. Next, slide the board out to disconnect it from the header. Lastly, flip the robot over and open the battery compartment. You will need to remove the four bolts securing the chassis board onto the plastic chassis while forcing the nut to stay within the plastic recess to keep it from spinning. Once the bolts have been removed, you'll need to compress the two springs using the screwdriver, allowing them to pass through the openings in the plastic chassis. That's it. The chassis board is now free and ready for modifications or additions. When you're ready to reassemble your TI-RSLK Max, please refer to the assembly instructions video or guide. And to learn more about this kit and what you can do with it, visit ti.com slash RSLK. Thanks for watching.